Damn. This is, this is amazing. So, game moves. That being said, this time we're actually going to be jumping into Grand Finals. They're going to be starting off on Final Destination. Honestly, Falco doesn't have those platform conversions on this kind of a stage. Yeah, it's slow Rob, though. I, I can still see a good, like, 50, 60% for an opening. Uh, looking for it, but uh, taking some damage in the process. Now, Tilde, again, has been waiting for a very long time to play. Yeah, oh yeah, so many sets just ahead of him. Um, to be able to get to this point, no double jump off stage. This should be the stock, but Zamba not covering the side B in time. Yeah, trying to get an opener, and just like that, again, opened up on in reverse, but no, no, still, you know, just hitting that up tilt button because it is money for Falco. And again, Tilde just really looking through the short hop downers, maybe catching a jump in, maybe catching a dash in, or maybe a goal in. So conditioning Zamba now to go through those options. Now, how is he going to be able to capitalize? Zamba, yep, that's just textbook edge going. Yeah, a preemptive fire bird right there is going to get intercepted by the side view from Rob. And now Zamba, you know, playing very comfortably right now. This is a very solid lead. Now that they're kind of out of, like, the big combo percents, like, they can still get two-pieced here and there. But uh, they still got, uh, I, I don't know, I, I think they're very solidly favored wow. right now. Till they finding that first downer, does not want to choose to commit to the second one, which honestly I respect. Just tries to go through the ledge trap in that position. Gonna be missing attack. Uh, Zombo was just not ready for that situation in the Ooh. moment. And catching that neutral get up, Falco's like, that bird's going flying. That's what I'm saying. It's like the Ganon mentality going on where it's just like, I'm out of combo percent, so I'm gonna take this rage and go up three stocks to one, but not gonna get caught on that landing. The rage is gone, and now the Falco show can initiate once more. Excellent space now that up smash as well. But right now, Zamba just in such a good position to be able to cover each of Tilde's options. I love that reset from Zamba just choosing to go out, understanding that Tilde can't pressure that in time. Yeah, covering so much space and already tacking on a quick 58% off of just a few openings. And now Zamba poised for game one, unless Tilde comes alive right now. Goes through that angle, mix up, only ends up getting hit by That's the late it. hit. But the immediate option just getting caught by side B. Side B, at the end of the day, the only thing that can beat it is you waiting at ledge for it to happen. And if you end up wasting all of that invulnerability, Rob can easily make use of that too. That was the cleanest JB3 stock coming out. And also now off the table, we're not going to see Kalos Pokemon League and we're not going to see Battlefield. So uh, I wonder where we're going to go to. We could see Yoshi is a possibility because Falco does have the benefit of the wall jump. But either way, there's a chance they could run it back as well. But Tilde, again, hasn't played in quite some time. So maybe that's the game they needed to wake up. Yeah. Um, going, going to a flat stage as Falco, you just definitely like inhibit a lot of damage that you can get. But... They are going to be going to small battlefield just by virtue of having those side platforms. That means Falco is just going to get so much more out of each drag down, out of each up tilt. That neutral leg does not connect all of the full drag downs that Tilde is going to be looking for. Oh, oh, huh. Yeah, I think this is the biggest factor that we're seeing in the second set between these two players is just like uh, the ability for Zamba to hold his stocks. I think that's the difference maker in this set. Zamba getting that jab lock, what a punish as well, just maximizing his damage output, recognizing that he can't get a kill, <laughs> bouncing on the stage and then snapping to the ledge. Tilde's getting kind of nice with it. Yeah, I, can't, I haven't seen that kind of option before. I think he got kind of pushed off right there by Zamba. But now Tilde's playing a lot more comfortable on this counter pick stage. The extra platforms, maybe the assisted ledge trapping opportunities here mm -hmm. to catch Rob's landings more consistently. I really like how Tilde, like once again, he is jumping off stage just to be able to force that low recovery and then tries to go through the two frame. Um, so that he's like always making it as difficult for Zamba uh, to high recovery as possible. That time side being maybe a little bit too uh, aggressively onto Zamba's shield is going to find that flame trap on the early dodge and gets the stock. Yeah, yeah, overextending on the shield, going to get punished for it, but answering right back. Uh, we're seeing a lot of Tomahawk up tilts or just put, uh, seeing Falco trying to be in a position to get these combo starters, because again, one combo starter later, and we're already at 51, 59, 67% off of one opening. Yeah, but look at that tracking from Zamba. Tries to shark Tilde is still going to be able to follow him as he finds uh, some ability to be able to land. That high recovery was so smart. Zamba was in no position to be able to cover that. Yeah, man. Both these players hyper-focused here in the Grand Finals, and Zamba one game away from a reset. Unless Tilde answers back, and Tilde is playing really confident here on the counterpick stage. <gasps> Tilde missing the punish on the neutral air dodge down. And Zamba, oh. as a result, just finds that down smash. Is this going to be a big punish? Oh, Drag down, uphill, but no kill quite yet. That was a really good DI from Zamba, so he doesn't get hit by Baku. Oh, the multi-hit neutral air going to catch the landing to the stage, and now now we have Tilde kind of just like waiting for an opportunity, but wow. not going to find it. What a good cover we mix up. And just like that, Zamba has completely Ooh. flipped the tides. 
does not actually fully hold in. Tilde, as a result, misspacing that, but no matter, without taking any more damage, is still going to be able to clean up the stock. Yeah, the perfect drift right there. Now Tilde poised to bring this to a game three, unless Zamba can answer back. So Zamba has to just, you know, get some sort of edge guard, some sort of ledge <gasps> trap. Wow, no, the side he's not punished. What are those mix ups? I, I mean, listen, if I was Zamba, I was already pressing something else out of shield. Uh, this should be the stock. Finds a late hit, amazing it, tech. No. But Uppy's hitbox gets there in time. Yeah, very fortunate for Tilde now racking up this extra credit damage. 66% incredible. And now, uh, Tilde just living for a very long time as Falco. Just yeah. gotta say that though. Yeah, a good trade for Zamba. They, you know, still taking a bit of damage. So, you know, as Tilde, I probably don't mind that too much. Up to go into back. Here. Good damage, putting Zamba into the corner. Catching him jumping in. Um, again, you just have to respect how much space uh, Falco can cover with his full hop. I definitely agree with you there. This is looking kind of scary, actually, for both players, because Rage Rob is no choke. Uh, it's going to the point where uh, an up smash will definitely finish it for both players. Well, that was just, like, such good coverage uh, from Zamba. Such a good sequence for him. Tilde needs to be so patient here. Gets that drag down, up tilt, and that time. So, there was a little something that he did different. Before he jumped, you know what he did? He took it around. He turned around so that he could back kick that other way. So that's, at the end of the day, going to be a bit of a DI mix-up. Well, I'm not even sure if he can react to that in time. But, so so let's take a look. Let's take a look. I want to see exactly where this happened. Yeah, okay, slow it down just a bit here. Yeah, up tilt into... Get that up tilt. Falco is still facing the front. Okay. All right. And that turned around. This, this right here. This is what was able to get Tilde that stock. Because the last time Zamba DI'd out, he was only able to get that up here, which does not kill. When he got that to the ground, he positioned himself in the back here. So that was just beautifully played. Yeah, elastic game for both players. And I think the, te the, the real story of this matchup, specifically in Grand Finals, is the opposite of the last one that we saw in Losers Finals, where the person who actually takes the first stock can actually snowball it in their favor. And uh, that's, <laughs> that's exactly what we didn't see in Suarez's set. Yeah, oh, Tilde just doing such a good job of just playing outside of Zamba's immediate area of effect. But as soon as he finds that one big in, that drag down fail, that falling up, that up tilt, it's going to be such big damage. But look at that, look at that slick movement, too. Such a good tomahawk. Yeah, oh, here we go. The drag downs for the extra meaty percent. And now looking to extend it, but now Ooh. overextending a little bit too much right there. And first stock going into Zamba's favor. Yeah, uh, once again, he keeps on finding those downers, but always tries to follow up off of a bounce or maybe like a tech in place, but just does not get through in time. And as a result, Zamba bays out that air dodge, but fading back just is not in a position to punish it. Back, there's not going to be enough there from the center stage, but it's huge stage control. And now he's got to uh, just kind of like look for an opportunity to close the stock without taking too much more percent. Oh, Tilde just needs to find a way to be able to get out of this position. Such a nasty place to find himself in. Tries to side be back to safety, but again, just Zamba is doing such a good job of keeping him out. That's a terrifying side B right there. Very risky play, and uh, yeah, that's going to be another one. Always those high side Bs. Every time Tilde goes for it, I feel like he's been getting punished more times than he actually finds an end off of them. A couple of lasers forces out that air dodge, but no track downstage, so. Down tilt going to set up into not too much, but. Falco's not out of this yet, yeah. especially with that up smash to close the stock. Yeah. Um, I, I do think that Tilde, as soon as he was able to get that air dodge out of Zamba, he should have been able to commit to like a gun off Florida. Um, but either way, you know what? He was able to close out that stock doing too much damage. There it is. Up, up. Oh, we're One opening into at least 60. Yeah. 60, 77. 77. And you know what? Now he has Zamba in a bit of a nasty juggle. Oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh. another one. Oh, once again, he's not getting that suit around that time around. Maybe thinking that Zamba's going to mix up his DI, or just sometimes forgetting. Uh, wait, Jason. But now Zamba with the opportunity for extra credit. Ooh. No, doesn't get it. Zamba maybe trying to catch a jump out of shield. And ends up drifting in a little bit one too close tilt. to Tilde. Yeah, just one up tilt away from making this uh, Falco favorite game. Yep, but Zamba's like playing outside of his uh, immediate area of effect, always Way. playing at mid range, uh, and just like not extending unless he absolutely needs to. So Zamba's playing so safely. <gasps> yeah, just kind of <laughs> just exists in that space next to him. Oh, oh, that drag down for you is actually not going to drag down uh, below. Zamba getting interrupted by the platform. But I'll, okay, okay, it's time. Oh, yeah, yeah. The one opening later, and like I said, the Falco show is here to play. The end of the tournament could be right here and right now. Oh, almost gets it right there, but now trades in the most unfortunate way. Trying to make it back onto the stage. Very fortunate going through the gyro. His up B angles are always just so solid. He's just able to make that move work around him. Tries to go for the jab block on the platform just in case Zamba missed that tech, which honestly I really, really love. In yeah. that position, oh, drag down, no up way. in. No way, no way. 
Uh, we've seen two off smashes come out from Zamba. Third one can definitely close it out right here and get the reset if he can land. Actually, two Falco off smashes too. Both of them have been closing yeah. every stock with up smash in this final game. Yeah, all oh, that time Zamba fighting his way back off the ledge. This is so close. This is still anybody's game. But you see how safely Tilde is playing. He does not want it on space. Wait. Uh, oh. no. no platform. Wow. Hmm. Just fell right through it. No way. Oh, just that was max distance to Tilde. He's very, very lucky in that position. Ends oh. up getting hit off stage. I feel like Zamba's just not oh. finding these edge codes. This could be the end of the game right here, right now. Oh, no punish on that forward air. Unsafe. This could be it. Oh, is that, that is going to be it. That's no inside me. It's a forward air. And just like that, Tilde is going to be a Xeno 209 champion. Oof. So that side be on shield. That could have been an up smash. Well, this forward air on shield, that could have that could have been something. That could have been a grab. But Zamba, maybe unsure of the way that uh, Tilde was going to go. Oh uh, didn't want to overcommit in that position, right? Just maybe want to like play it safe. Uh, and <laughs> he was already getting off of his seat. Yeah, I don't actually think I've ever seen that. That's like a straight-up Sonic combo right there to close the yeah. tournament. Tilde taking first place as the first seed, and Zamba finishing in second place. But what a tournament run it's been for a lot of players here tonight, yeah. man. 